Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIVS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Dear students, today I am here to conduct a math class of class 5. This is the third class of annual examination. Our today's topic is page 98 discussion and page 99 two problems given here. I will solve these two problems. Problem 7 and 8 I will solve and two homework is given based on this today's topic. You know homework is very very important for you in this term as your diary marks, city marks and SBA will be given based on your homework. Submit your homework every Sunday in the school library and you can collect your previous homework copy on that day. Okay, dear students, let us start our today's topic. Our today's topic is page 98. Page 98 is in chapter 9. The name of the chapter is percentage. In this chapter, we will learn today profit and loss. So, at first, we have to know what is profit and loss. So, let us introduce with profit and loss. Suppose a businessman bought an item. with 1000 taka and he sold it 1200 taka at 1200 taka as the man bought the item by 1000 taka this 1000 is invested by the man this amount of money which the person invest that is known as cost price. It means if we buy anything by which price we will buy that will be the cost price and as he sold it at 1200 this 1200 will be his selling price will be his selling price. Now, we will know what is profit and what is loss. If the selling price is greater than the cost price, if the selling price is greater than the cost price, then it's, it is called profit. Then it is called profit. And the amount of profit we can determine by using a formula that is profit equal to selling price minus cost price. It means that if we subtract the cost price from the selling price, we will get the profit. We will get the profit. And again loss. What is loss? Loss means if the, if the selling price is less than the cost price, suppose if the person sold the item at 800 taka, then 800 is less than 1000. It means that here the selling price is smaller than or less than the cost price. In this case, we will get the loss and the formula to determine the loss is cost price minus selling price. 
so if we subtract the selling price from the cost price we will get the total amount of loss now i'll show what is profit or loss in percentage it means profit percentage or loss percentage now i'll show profit percentage or loss percentage and then loss percentage percentage means you know portion of 100 portion of 100 it means that when the cost price will be 100 taka then the amount of profit will be profit percentage it means that when the cost price is 100 taka and if the selling price is 120 taka then our profit is 120 minus 100 it means 20 taka as 20 taka is our profit on 100 it means portion of 100 this is known as profit percentage it means in this case we can say 20 percent is our profit as 20 taka we get profit for the cost price 100 taka and loss percentage means suppose cost price is 100 taka and the price of selling price of the item is 90 taka in this case loss is equal to 100 minus 90 it means 10 taka 10 taka loss when the cost price, loss is 10 taka when the cost price is 100 taka it means that our loss percentage is 10 percent loss in percentage is 10 percent it means that when the cost price will be 100 taka and for this 100 taka the amount of profit or loss the cost price 100 taka the profit amount of profit or loss will be known as profit or loss in percentage okay now i'll solve two questions from exercise 9 first question is question 7 let us see the question at first in a shop an item of 1800 taka was sold at a discount of 20 percent at a discount of 20 percent it means that an item of 1800 taka this is the cost price of the item this is the cost price of the item the price of the item is 1800 taka but it is sold at 20% discount means loss here at 20 percent di discount means 20 percent loss in this case we have to find the selling price we have to find the selling price okay let us start given cost price is 1800 taka and discount is 20 percent as the discount is 20 percent so we can find the total amount of discount therefore total amount of discount this will be 20 percent of the cost price 1800 taka
here if we calculate this will be 20 by 100 of 1800 taka now we can calculate here we can divide 20 by 20 it will be 1 and 100 by 20 it will be 5 now we can divide 1800 by 5 take 3 times at first I can show here 51800 3 times 15 now 3 left take a 0 30 6 times 5 6 are 30 now 1 0 left so write this 0 here so we can say 3 6 0 so we can say 3360 taka is our discount amount as this is the total amount of discount now if we subtract this from the cost price or the total price we will get the selling price therefore the selling price is we have to subtract 360 from 1800 now subtract this is simple subtraction here will be 0 here will be 4 if we subtract 7 3 from 7 this will be 4 so I can say this is the required selling price this is the required selling price 1440 taka so our answer for this question is 1440 taka this is the required selling price now I will solve another question that is question 8 of exercise 9 let us see the question a seller purchased boxes of vegetables from a farm from a farmer and sold them at a market at 6300 taka with a profit of 40 percent how much was the cost price what is given here so as here is sold at it means this is selling price 6300 taka is the selling price and the profit percentage is given profit percentage is given we have to find the cost price we have to find the cost price to solve this at first we have to write the meaning of 40 percent profit forty percent profit means when the cost price is 100 taka then selling price is we have to add as it is profit we have to add 40 with 100 or 140 taka as cost price is 100 taka and then selling price is 140 taka so we can write here and the cost selling price is given given selling price is 6300 taka Now, we can do this as the selling price given and this is the selling price. We can solve this now using unitary method. 
when we need to find the cost price so cost price will go to the last for arranging the unitary method when selling price is 140 taka cost then cost price is 100 taka now we can write when selling price is 1 taka then cost price is as the selling price decreases so cost price will decrease it means that we have to divide so we'll write 140 in the denominator when we have to divide then when we will put 1 in replace of any number then we have to divide by that number and that time that will go to the denominator when selling price is 6300 taka then cost price is so now selling price increases so cost price will increase it means that we have to multiply 100 by 6300 and in the denominator here will be 140 now we can calculate here we can divide by 10 this is 10 if we divide by 10 this will be 14 now we can divide this by 2 this will be 5 and divide this by 2 this will be 7 now we can divide this by 7 if we divide this by 7 this will be 900 so we can say 5 9 or 45 and 20 here so we can write this it means that our cost price is 4500 taka this is our required cost price this is our required cost price so we can write here therefore the cost price is 4500 taka so our answer for this question is 4500 taka dear students i hope all of you have understood today's topic keep practicing at home avoid by your parents stay home stay safe see you again inshallah allah hafiz